The weather is not being kind in Japan's disaster zone. Nobody here has a normal life anymore, and now locals are having to survive in snowy cold conditions. Petrol stations are closed, with fuel going to rescue workers as a priority. Provisions for daily life are running low. In this bakery, the shelves are virtually bare. What they can make with remaining ingredients is all going to the emergency evacuation centres. The last donut is sold. Customers are told that there's now nothing left. People are watching for news of the nuclear reactor crisis, hoping for the best. Inside the evacuation centres, at least it's warm. A 25-year-old girl tells us that her house is gone and she doesn't know what to do. A 71-year-old man says he watched the tsunami crush his house and fishing boat. Later, he helped the police remove the bodies of his cousins and his neighbours. At the recovery centre, there's a sense of shared pain, but also of this community pulling together. Everyone has lost so much, and what's left is being shared around. The people of northeastern Japan just can't take a break. First, there was an earthquake, then a tsunami, and a nuclear crisis. Now it's snowing and freezing cold, making recovery work difficult and life tough for survivors with electricity, food, and fuel shortages. If there was a way, many people would simply get out of here. Stephen McDonnell, ABC News, Tono City.